everybody, Paul Hummeler here at Dream Guitars, and here's a quick tech tip about nut width and string spacing. My lovely assistant for today is a Tyler Robbins R1. And I, all I wanted to do today was talk about how you talk about and measure nut width, and same for the string spacing. So nut width can be somewhat confusing because people might think you measure the actual bone, but you have to realize the bone can be shaped all different ways depending on the look that the builder's going for. So what we actually measure is the wood of the fingerboard right where it hits the bone. Because that's gonna give you a really honest measurement and you can do the same on every single guitar. So just remember to measure the wood right where it hits the bone, not the bone, because the bone could be um, flared out or in, etc. While we're here, one quick talk um, comment about string spacing. People think about string spacing at the saddle, but it's adjustable, of course, on the nut as well. You could always have a new nut made and the string spacing change slightly if you want more or less freeboard. We call this space on the outsides of the strings um, or more or less gap. So your repair person can do that for you if you like a particular feel. Moving down to the saddle, this is where we measure string spacing. So on our website, we always mention these two measurements because that's two of the key things you feel as a player. String spacing, a lot of people don't realize you measure it center, of the, center to center of the outside strings. So it's not the edges of the strings, it's the center of each of those. So if we say two and a quarter inches, we mean center to center of those two strings. And just again, to realize that this is of course adjustable at the time of construction, but because you have to change the, where the holes are actually drilled. So common ones are two and a quarter, two and an eighth, et cetera, but that's how you measure it here. And just realize that that's an important thing for feel as well. So there you go, nut width, string spacing.